This video is going to look at finding the rate of carbon dating. Uh, it goes along with the lab on dating the Dead Sea Scrolls uh, found in section 3.3, uh, concept 3.3 uh, for quantitative literacy. So there's a, a hint given in the content there that explains how you can use this equation to calculate the rate. Uh, and then it leaves you to uh, calculate the rate on your own. Uh, this requires a little bit of algebra, a little more algebra than maybe we've seen in this course so far. I don't want to give away the answer. Uh, but finding the rate uh, is important here. So this rate would represent uh, the percentage decay per year and then you could use that rate to determine uh, what percentage would remain of each manuscript that has been tested. We're going to look at a similar example. So this is carbon-14. Say this is the half-life uh, for something other than carbon-14. I like the joke that maybe it's kryptonite. Uh, so it would be set up like this. Uh, we're going to go about uh, determining the rate of the half-life for this element. Perhaps it's kryptonite. Uh, and so to go about doing this, going about the algebra here, I'm going to spread this apart just a tad. So we want to get R by itself. We're trying to solve for R. So we're going to start by getting rid of this exponent. And if you will remember your exponential rules, I'm going to think about this right here being in parentheses. And when you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So I'm going to raise this right here to, let's see if I can make this transparent, yep, 1 over uh, 4,276. And as you would know, uh, if when you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So 4,276 times 1 over 4,276 would be 1. And anything raised to the one power is just whatever it is. Uh, you can do this uh, whenever you uh, raise one side to a power. You have to balance it out by raising the other side to a power as well. This won't be one. Uh, we can calculate this in the calculator, but I don't want rounding error. So we're going to hold off on that for right now. So when you raise a power to a power, you would get rid of this, and this would leave us with simply 1 minus r equaling 0.5 raised to the 1 divided by 4,276. We can then subtract 1 from both sides. You can think of that looking like this. And that would leave us with a negative r equaling 0 0.05. I'm going to write type the uh, exponent like this, which is the way it would you would enter it into a calculator, minus 1. I'll actually move it over here. So the last thing we need to do to get r by itself is to get rid of the sign. So I'm going to multiply both sides
by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative r will leave you with just r. And I'll multiply this side over here also by negative 1. So we're left on the left with just r. On the right side, negative 1 times a minus 1 is going to give us a positive 1. And then this was positive. It's now going to be negative. And I now have something that I can enter into my calculator. So I'll put the calculator here. I'm going to enter this. So 1 minus 0 0.5 raised to the 1 divided by 4,276 in this case. So we hit enter. This is scientific notation. This is telling us to move the decimal four places. So uh, when I move the decimal four places, I would get that the rate equals 0 0.0001620889. Six, I could say, uh, and I'll round this to here. So you can see how we took, this is scientific notation, we took this decimal and moved it to the left four places. Uh, so <clears throat> this is how you go about doing it for a different element. Now you can go do it on your own for C14 uh, using a half-life of 5,760 years.